Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS hosts first centralized national virtual settlement event, helping more taxpayers settle tax court cases. No way. A virtual tax court case game? I love that virtual stuff, like with the gaming headset and everything. It'll be like that virtual divorce game I played one time. Because like, in the actual divorce, I got totally screwed, man, I'm telling you. But, but, but when I put that virtual headset on and play like the virtual divorce game, I execute the divorce settlement masterfully. Oh, no, no, no. I'll be keeping the house, dang it. I declare in the virtual divorce game as I pet Fido's smiling doggy face. I'm so glad I didn't let her take you away from me, Fido. And through my masterful divorce court negotiations, I not only got to keep you, but she now has to pay me $5,000 a month in doggy settlement. And pay all of my Nobel Peace Prize. How ironic. Still, get that silly virtual headset off. Lunch break's over. But I'm so much happier here. Come back, please. Come back. Why? I'm so much happier here. Come on, man. You haven't even worked enough hours to pay off the garnishment the divorce court makes us take out of your pay, covering just the hamster support. Just kidding. That's like my Al Bundy divorce scenario here, but in any case, uh, first a joke. Chick flicks used to be romantic comedies about relationships. You complete. You had me at hello. But now, chick flicks are just where some chick takes out the evil patriarchy with just one Mary Sue flick. <laughs> They're like, look at that dude, says the Mary Sue in the new chick flick. That's what I, you know something, you can really do that. Big Dan over there. You see that guy over there at the line getting some candy? Yeah. All right, now he's about 6'5". I'm 5'2". That dude is the most powerful dude ever, possibly even a god, who just conquered the entire multiverse. I ain't no big guy, alright? Watch this. You watch this, alright? Watch me take him out with just one chick flick. Hey, excuse me, brother. I'll even make it fair. Flicking that tyrant god with just my left pinky finger after drinking a fifth of whiskey the night before. I mean, you know, I never thought I'd say this, but can't we just watch one of the old chick flicks? No, I am truly, deeply sorry, John. I, I wish there was more that we could do, but to what you are asking, the answer is no, we just can't. Like, I, I'd rather have like a Twilight Marathon than watch one of these new ones, man. I don't... <laughs> IR 2022-207, November 29, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service announced today that the IRS Office of Chief Counsel partnered with the American Bar Association Tax Section to hold its first centralized national virtual settlement event. This four-day event was inspired by the month-long virtual event held in March 2021 during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. Over the course of four days, an exceptional number of cases were settled, a total of 44. There were at least 59 meetings from October 24th through October 27th that included taxpayers, pro bono attorneys, and representatives of the IRS Office of Chief Counsel. In contrast to past settlement day events that are generally organized locally for taxpayers with a nearby place of trial, uh, this one was organized at the national level to support unrepresented taxpayers who may not be able to attend a local event. Quote, this groundbreaking event provided an easier process for taxpayers to get their cases settled, end quote, said Acting Commissioner Doug O'Donnell, quote, we are proud of the IRS Office of Chief Counsel for being uh, innovative and in making it more convenient uh, to those who may not be able to attend a local event, end quote. So obviously the whole thing with COVID and the capacity of people to have more stuff kind of online and take virtual meetings and whatnot led more people to explore the limits of the use of this kind of virtual uh, technology and meeting virtually and so on. And now 
post-COVID, hopefully we're at post-COVID at this point, we can then possibly still apply some of the knowledge that might have been learned in that process to make things easier going forward, possibly. So that looks like what they're doing here. So the event uh, took place in close coordination between the tax section of the ABA, which was celebrating its annual pro bono week and local low income taxpayer clinics. So more than 75 volunteers from the ABA tax section, including numerous low income taxpayer clinics and private pro bono attorneys provided free local support. IRS revenue officers and tax computations specialists further supported this event by explaining collection options and generating settlement computations. The National Virtual Settlement Event does not replace local or in-person settlement day events, but instead offers taxpayers greater access to free local advice and support for their tax court cases. So settlement day events are coordinated efforts to resolve cases in the United States tax court by providing taxpayers not represented by counsel the opportunity to receive free tax advice from low-income taxpayer clinics, ABA volunteer attorneys, and other pro bono organizations. Taxpayers can also discuss their tax court cases and resolve related tax issues with members of the IRS Office of Chief Counsel and IRS Collection. By doing so, unrepresented taxpayers are often able to amicably settle their tax disputes without a trial. So I don't think there's many links here, but if there are any links, there'll be a link to this in the description if you want to check it out in any case. So go, go ahead and do that. There'll be a link to this there.